You will literally smell like a snack <laughs> if you put this on. Hi guys, today I have a pretty big Bath and Body Works haul for you. I got all these things like back when they were having the semi-annual sale. So I know it's a little bit late, but I know that you can probably still get all of these either on their website or in stores. I will link what I can below. If not, I would probably find like Amazon links or something like that if you're interested in any of these. The next video I'm going to be doing is a Victoria's Secret body mist haul but today is bath and body works day i have like a huge box i made an online order whenever the semi annual sale was on because online they have some more discontinued fragrances that you can't get in the stores and then i also went and shopped at the actual store honestly i got most of these things for the black friday sale which was the buy three get three i did that online and in store okay so i'm gonna start off with what i got online so All right, so I think I got all of them. I lost the cap for this one, but the show must go on. I found it. I am gonna look up notes, even though they're not really like perfumes, but I still wanna give you like a general idea of what these actually smell like. So I'm gonna try to look up the notes on their website. This is strawberry pound cake. Literally, it smells like a strawberry pound cake. The like short and sweet description of this is that it's a sweet, airy swirl of fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. Like, it smells like a strawberry cake of some sort. It's so good. Picture in your head what a strawberry pound cake smells like. Even if you haven't smelled a strawberry pound cake, just picture in your head what you think a strawberry cake of some sort would smell like. And that's literally this. It has that, like, fresh vibe of the strawberries. But then it's mixed with like that whipped cream and like just cake type of scent. And it's just so sweet and delicious. You will literally smell like a snack <laughs> if you put this on. I love wearing body mist at night, like for bed. I know that's probably not like good for your body or whatever. But I just like smelling good whether I'm like awake or not. So I just always have some sort of smell on me. And I love specifically body mist for nighttime because I don't want to really be putting on my like expensive perfumes to sleep but I do obviously like to wear body mist during the day as well and that one is just a really good nighttime scent because you literally just feel so like cozy it smells like you're like sleeping in like a bakery or something it's so good right. the next scent I had been waiting for this one this is a discontinued scent all of their discontinued scent scents they like to bring back every once in a while this is kaleidoscope Oh. I actually got three of these because I knew that it was discontinued and I wasn't going to be able to find it again. And they also had the sale for these, so I think I got it for like five bucks a piece. This scent has been said to be a pretty much like almost spot on dupe for the Glossier U perfume, which is a perfume I've wanted for a while, but there's no Glossier store and I hate ordering stuff online, so I just haven't picked it up. But this is supposed to be like almost like a spot on dupe to that perfume. I've heard people also say that this scent, it'll kind of like adjust to your pH and just it'll smell different on each person that wears it. I literally stocked up on these. I have one in my purse. I have one in my bathroom. I have one here um, and then I also got the body lotion. This smells so good. I'm gonna read off the notes of the actual perfume of the Kaleidoscope because they don't really show notes for this but obviously the perfume smells exactly like it so maybe this will give you an idea of what it kind of smells like. So it has top notes of pink pepper, middle notes of iris, cedar, and black pepper with base notes of sandalwood, vetiver, and patchouli. You guys know how I feel about patchouli. I don't like patchouli. Um, I honestly don't smell it at all. Like at all. This to me just smells like super super fresh if you go on the fragrantica website which is like where i see the notes of like all perfumes basically anything you need to know about any perfume down to like the notes down to like reviews and what people think about it what perfumes are similar to that perfume check out the fragrantica website that's like where i get all of my information about perfumes but if you scroll down to the section where it says what perfume this reminds me of the first one is the Glossier U perfume. So if you're looking for a good dupe to that perfume, check this out. I have seen this on Amazon. Before I saw it in store, I was really thinking about getting it on Amazon because I was just like desperate. But I'm glad that I waited because on Amazon, 
as Amazon likes to do. They really jack up the price. So I think they had this for like $20. So I'm glad that I waited and bought it at the actual store for five and I got to get three of them. This is like one of my favorite scents. It's so good. It's a really unique type of fresh perfume. I normally don't really love fresh perfume. I prefer like gourmands vanilla type of scents but that is just a fresh perfume i can get on with it is amazing and if you're looking for a dupe to that perfume or you really like the glossier you if you already have glossier you then i don't see why you need this because they smell very similar but if you don't have glossier you and you've been wanting to try that out that is literally the spot on dupe to that perfume so try it out. Okay, then I got this one. This was very random. I had actually never heard anything about this, but I don't know. I just I just picked it up. So this is Secret Wonderland. This perfume has been compared to the Taylor Swift. I think it's Wonderstruck is the purple one. I wanted to get this because that perfume, when I was like, I don't know, like 10, 11, I remember getting it for Christmas and like freaking out and it was like, it was my only perfume that I owned back then, but it was like my favorite perfume. I cherished it. I wore it like every single day. And this is supposed to be like a little dupe of it. I honestly don't think that they smell very similar. I think this one's just like a little bit fresher than that, but it smells so good. It's a really unique type of scent. It has top notes of lush, luscious strawberries, wild goji berries, and ripe raspberry. Middle notes of gardenia petals, jasmine, and peach ne nectar. And base notes of coconut musk, creamy vanilla, sandalwood, and white amber. I think that's a really good description of pretty much exactly what this smells like. It smells like a little bit of vanilla. It has that sweet vibe, but then you also get that like a little fresher vibe with those fruits. This is like the perfect scent to spray on after you get out of the shower because you're just gonna smell like really fruity, but also like just really sweet. It's very like alluring. I don't know. I just really like this. It's a light scent, honestly. Pretty much every Bath & Body Works is a very light scent. And there's not really much to be said about how like long these are going to last you because they are body mist. You can't expect for them to last for a long time. But another reason why I love body mist is because I love pairing them with my perfumes and creating like a little cocktail. I feel like layering a body mist under a perfume will make that perfume more concentrated and also last longer so that's another thing i really like to do with body mist although it is kind of hard trying to match a body mist with a perfume especially obviously if they're different scents but if you get a really good match then it will literally take that like already good perfume to like another level let me know if you want me to do like a I don't know, perfume combination, like what I like to layer with my perfumes because I think that that would be very interesting because I love doing that. Okay, next scent that I have is Pink Cashmere. I feel like this perfume would pair up really well with my YSL Manifesto because I feel like this is a super, super concentrated version of this. I'm not saying that they're dupes or anything. I'm saying that that perfume would pair really well because I feel like it's just like a... 200 times heightened version of this so under it it's just gonna make that perfume smell even stronger and better it's not gonna like clash because they're very similar type smelling not dupes or anything but you know gives me the same vibe this is described as being a dreamy blend of pink jasmine creamy sandalwood and white amber and that's really what it is i feel like i smell a little bit of like vanilla in there as well it almost gives me like i don't know sunscreen vibes a little bit but yeah this is a really good scent okay next up this is a bath and body works classic this scent has been around for years and then they discontinued it it's a retired fragrance but they do bring it back very often i feel like i actually got this off of their website honestly dark kiss is such a perfect name for this because it's really really dark smelling it's really unique it's very earthy like i feel like it almost has like a I don't know grassy vibe to it it's super super earthy but then also like mixed with vanilla this is a scent that would pair beautifully with this guy right here this is versace crystal noir this is a super like dark and just really really dark coconut fragrance like it's a type of coconut that you've never smelled before it's so good it's so like alluring and exotic i feel like this is like the perfect combination right here i don't know why i'm like giving all these away because i want to like make this a whole video but i just can't help myself this is described as being a seductive blend of black raspberry, burgundy rose, and dark vanilla bean. The keynotes are black raspberry, burgundy rose, bergamot, bergamot incense, which I feel like that is what gives this like that, I don't know, 
earthy type of smell and then you have dark vanilla bean and plum musk this would be like a perfect date night i don't know night out kind of a scent it's very very dark and just very like for the nighttime obviously you can wear this anytime you want i think this is very seductive like it explains this is also really rare for a body mist this Ow. because this body mist actually lasts on your skin unlike a lot of bath and body works or just really any body sprays for that matter especially if you layer it on like a perfume on top okay the next one is another like now discontinued scent because this was out during the holidays obviously this is christmas cookies i mean if you want to smell like freshly baked cookies is this right here the fragrance notes in this are creamy cookie dough almond biscotti and caramel woods do i need to say more this is literally like you put some like i don't know chocolate chip cookies in the oven and like just that like overwhelmingly like sweet cookie scent that it fills up your like house this is that in a bottle of a body mist <laughs> literally straight up smells like cookies like some sort of like i don't know biscotti that's literally what it smells like i feel like this is a really nice um cozy type of scent this isn't a type of scent that I would wear to like go out because if I'm going out, I want to smell a little bit more like luxurious and expensive and like I want to wear my actual perfumes. But if I'm chilling at home, I want to smell really like cozy, I want to smell like cookies, and then I will put this on. It's really, really good and you'll just smell like cookies. Okay, the next one is another retired fragrance. This has been out forever. This is Black Raspberry Vanilla. Honestly, with a lot of these body mists, the name is literally exactly what they smell like. So this is a berry and vanilla combination. It literally smells like you took a blackberry and you chopped it in half and then you like stuck it up your nose. That's literally what this smells like. It smells like a super fresh blackberry. It's not like that synthetic, I don't know, artificial like, you know, like the lollipops that are scented like blueberry, all of that. But like they don't really taste like the actual fruit they're very artificial this literally smells like you went out into the wild you saw like a little bush that had blackberries and you took one and you chopped it in half it's just like a fresh ripe raspberry like literally the packaging and and the color of it it's literally like raspberry juice in here it smells very very like realistic to the actual fruit i feel like a lot of the times when they do body mist they'll make it smell good but very artificial and like just synthetic and this is not i feel like this smells exactly like the fruit but with also that like added note of vanilla which i think makes this really really good basically the description of this is that it's a classic addictive blend of fresh raspberries vine ripened blackberries vanilla orchid creamy sandalwood and cashmere woods I don't really smell all the other notes in this, but really all I smell is like that fresh raspberry and vine ripe, ripe blackberries. Like I said, like super ripe like berry blend. And this would pair really well with some sort of like fruity perfume. I already have one in mind, but I'm not going to say it because I want to save that for my video. Okay, next up is another very classic Bath & Body Works scent. I'm sure everybody, every single girl at one point in their life, especially in like the middle school, high school type of days has owned this fragrance or has at least smelled that in your like pe class this is like literally what every girl used to spray in the locker room this and like pure seduction or love spell from victoria's secret those scents are like too much for me now because it brings back it literally takes me back to that time but i do really love this one this is twilight woods this is a really really good like creamy type of scent even though i said that dark kiss would pair up really well with this these two don't smell alike. I feel like this perfume smells very, 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 very similar to this. Not a dupe, exactly, but I think that they create the same vibe. This, just like this, also has coconut, but it's coconut done in like this very like, I don't know, dark and unique way. And it's the same type of coconut in both of these and not like that upbeat, you know, fresh sunscreeny coconut that I feel like a lot of people are used to smelling. Um, in like body mist and all that it's very like dark coconut and the keynotes the coconut is not stated But this does have coconut in it and I feel like I really do smell it the keynotes are lush berry Sparkling mandarin soft mimosa apricot nectar and cypress woods. It's another like very dark kind of alluring type of scent These two right here are like a match made in heaven They're so good and I think these would pair up so well together and this would really bring out all the notes in this 
this and make this stand out even more. Okay, so because I'm stupid, for some reason I didn't realize that these were the same scent. And I guess because the packaging is different, I thought that they were different. But I think one of them I ordered online and then the other one I got in store. This is Sensual Amber. I don't know which one is the new packaging, but yeah, these are both Sensual Amber. <laughs> and it's okay because I really do like this scent, so it's okay that I have doubles of it. If you know an amber scent, this is it. This is just literally like a pure amber type of scent. This would pretty much pair up with literally any perfume that has amber in it. I feel like it would really make the amber stand out if this was layered. Fragrance notes are golden amber, wild berries, orange flower, lotus petals, and creamy sandalwood. So it's not just like a boring, like just an amber scent. It has some other notes in it and it has like a little bit of like a fresh vibe. This is another like very chill on the low type of scent. It's not going to smell super strong. To me, a lot of amber scents, like this is a very like light amber scent. It's almost kind of like a skin scent. Like you'll smell your skin and it'll literally smell like your skin just like naturally smells that way. I feel like this is a very skin-like scent, which kind of sounds disgusting, but it's actually really good. Don't mind my weird descriptions okay so then i have what i bought in the actual store so these i got for the black friday sale um again this was buy three get three free because it was the christmas time i was in the mood and this is just something that you have to get every single christmas this is vanilla bean noel this scent has literally like how long has this been out oh like years decades decades at this point i'm pretty sure this came out in like 1932 it's been out for a minute i'm pretty sure everybody their grandmother their pet dog their pet lizard their pet cow knows what this smells like the only thing that sucks about this scent i will say i don't know if it's like the new formulation because they obviously like change up the formula even though it's the same scent they change it up every year and i feel like this year this scent does not last at all regardless of the fact that most body sprays don't really last this really doesn't last like i will spray this on and literally three minutes after I sprayed it on, I smell nothing. Like only if I like freaking dig my nose into my skin, maybe I can smell it. So because of that, I bought the matching body cream. Obviously, if you layer scents like a body cream and then a body mist, they will last longer. Basically, the fragrance notes, I don't feel like I really even need to read them, but I will anyway. It's fresh vanilla bean, sugar cookies, warm caramel, whipped cream, snow-kissed musk. It's literally exactly what the notes are. This is just a straight up, I mean, vanilla bean, but cookie type, but like just really sweet and edible gourmand type of scent. Oh my God, my flash on my phone has been on this entire time. Okay, so completely opposite for Christmas time. This is gonna be perfect, perfect for the summertime. So I'm really glad that I got this. I got the matching body cream and body spray. This is at the beach. This, if you like that like sunscreen type of scent, this is the perfect scent. Like I love that sunscreeny, I don't know, coconut beachy vibe. It just smells like summer in a bottle. Like you just went to the beach and then you came home, showered, and you're going out for dinner. But that like beachy like scent still kind of like lingers on your skin. That's literally what this smells like. I feel like when summer rolls around, pairing these two together is going to be amazing. This is basically just a straight up coconut and honestly i used to be really into coconut when i was like i don't know 13 14 it was like my favorite scent i died for coconut scents now i honestly do not like coconut scents at, at all they almost kind of give me a headache but this is a coconut scent that i can get on with it is a very strong coconut scent but i feel like it's a little bit fresh it's like very beachy like aquatic i feel like it's mixed very well with all the other notes to the point where it doesn't give me a headache this has white frangipani blossoms toasted coconut bergamot waters sea salt breeze and sun-kissed musk so yeah it's a very beachy like aquatic type of scent added with that coconut it's like the perfect sunscreen but not like too much sunscreen type of scent and then i'm just gonna get this out of the way because it's another christmasy scent this is fresh sparkling snow this is a very subtle scent but i think it smells actually really good it's very very fresh like super super fresh it's super like uplifting and fresh even though it's like fresh sparkling snow i feel like this would actually be perfect for the summer because it's a very airy light fresh type of scent the notes in this are iced pear frozen melon winter apple snowdrop blossom and frosted musk don't be like fooled by all of, like you know the, the snowy packaging and like 
winter apple like winter apple is just an apple <laughs> so you can wear it in like summertime too i feel like vanilla be noel and like christmas cookies i feel like those are like very wintry christmas vibes but i don't think this is so even though it's fresh sparkling snow i think this will be really nice for like the spring and summer it's super like uplifting with like that pear it's just like a really really fruity kind of scent that would pair so well with like any sort of like fresh fruity perfume and then another one on that same kind of vibe is pretty as a peach again this is a fruity scent that smells like an actual fresh juicy ripe peach <laughs> like it smells straight up like the actual fruit it's not synthetic or artificial it's just like straight up a peach smell i don't think there's anything in in this if you want to smell like a peach try this out okay so this right here is a new bath and body Works scent this is the you're the one fine fragrance mist i think this body spray literally smells like a perfume i don't even think this smells like a body spray. It reminds me of some sort of like, I don't know, Dior perfume. One of the Miss Dior's, like the maybe Rose and Roses or something like that. This is a very, very rosy body mist. I feel like with one of those scents, this would pair really well. It smells very strong and it's also a body mist that lasts forever. I feel like this, Into the Night and In the Stars, I think those three like are my top three Bath & Body Works fragrances that I don't think smell cheap. I think like literally those top three, you can literally just wear on their own, no perfume needed because I actually do think that they last and they smell very like strong and luxurious. They don't have like, I don't know, I feel like these are kind of like meant to be layered or I mean you can wear them alone but it's not gonna really last. It's not really gonna smell like a super expensive like perfume. It's not gonna smell like you're wearing a perfume. It's gonna smell like you're wearing a body spray. But I feel like with these three, this one and the other two I mentioned, they actually smell like some sort of high-end perfume, especially Into the Night. I think Into the Night smells straight up like a dupe for like black opium or something. It smells very similar to it, especially if you mix those two together. That would be like the perfect combination. But with this one, this you can pair up with like any rose kind of perfume and it just will smell very feminine they don't really state it in the fragrance notes but you know me and my patchouli i can detect patchouli from a mile away they don't state it in the fragrance notes but i just know that there's patchouli in this the fragrance notes that are listed are white birch velvety rose and a drop of strawberry nectar i feel like based off of those notes i would think that this would be more of like a fresh kind of scent but i don't think i think this is actually a pretty heavy scent it is fresh as like especially when you spray it you really get that strawberry nectar but i feel like this almost gives me vibes of like a coco mademoiselle kind of a scent it's kind of like that dark patchouli but i do really like it even though i don't love patchouli i do like this scent this is a pretty heavy rose i feel like but I can get on with it. Okay, like, the next one I'm going to show, I actually bought these like separately like a little while ago. I'm not sure. But this is Forever Red. This is another pretty classic, but they have remade it, like reformulated. They've changed the packaging, obviously. And I feel like a lot of people used to say that this would stain their clothes because the juice is actually red. Like if you were to wear like a white top and you sprayed this, you'd literally get splatters of like red all over your shirt. But I tried this out and I was wearing a white top and nothing came out. So I don't know if they've changed it. Like obviously the packaging is red, but I don't think the juice is actually red in this. I, I think that they've changed it. I haven't found this to stain any of my clothes. So I don't know if this is just a new formula for it. But this is such a good scent. I think this is a really sexy scent. I think this is so sexy. This has fiery pomegranate, red peony, rich vanilla rum, and oak wood. It's like, it's kind of dark, but it's like pomegranate, like fruity scent, but with like the rich vanilla rum. I don't know. I, I just think this is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. This is another one of their perfumes that I think lasts a good time on the skin. But I feel like especially paired with a perfume that kind of has the same vibe. Oh my god, you would smell amazing you would be like a magnet for compliments with this scent i think nobody can not like this scent it's so good and the very last one another one that's been out for a while but they've changed it this is champagne toast i'm gonna be honest i don't think this is like my favorite scent in the world 
Does it smell like champagne? Yes. Very like juicy. It almost reminds me of some sort of like candy, like I don't know, maybe gummy bears. If you stuck your face in like a bag of Sour Patch Kids or something like that, like some sort of candy like that, some sort of gummy candy. I can't pinpoint exactly what this reminds me of, but it reminds me of some sort of candy. The notes in this are bubbly champagne, sparkling berries, and juicy tangerine. It's a very juicy scent. Like the juicy tangerine is like very spot on. It's literally like champagne with berries. I feel like this is a very young type of scent. Like I don't think this is a very like mature kind of smell, but I do really like it. It's not gonna like last forever. So you can just like spray it fresh out the shower or something. It's a good sleeping fragrance for you to just smell good while you're sleeping or just during the day. It's like a very uplifting kind of scent. So I think anybody can get on board with this. I'm sure a lot of you own this and know exactly what this smells like, but um, I just figured I would mention it. So that is it for this huge Bath & Body Works haul. If you want me to do more of these and review any other Bath & Body Works scents, I'm gonna do the Victoria's Secret version of this next. I got a lot of like very classic scents from them because I just wanted to revisit them again because I hadn't owned them in a while. So I'm really excited to make that video after this. Let me know your favorite Bath & Body Works scents because I would love to know because I want to try some new stuff out. Let me know if any of these are your favorites. I hope you guys like this video. Leave it a like if you did and subscribe to my channel and turn your post notifications on and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! What a wonderful world.